Extremes have been the norm this year, especially in Texas cotton fields. Severe drought when seeds were planted, and just a few months later at harvest time, rains that won't stop. A roller coaster of weather patterns. For some, that meant their plants never saw the light of day. We planted it and it just didn't come up with no rain help. So after a couple of weeks, we just kind of abandoned everything and uh, wait for next year. And we tried to substitute it with irrigation and just went enough there to get it going. Larry farms near Littlefield, where the Texas Panhandle and South Plains meet. It's part of the biggest cotton growing area in the U.S., but lately Mother Nature's been harsh. Lamb County's only had about two inches of rain from September 2017 to August of this year. It's the first time in Larry's 40 years of farming he won't harvest a single cotton bowl. From day to day, year to year, you know, we just, it's a struggle a lot of time. We don't have a, a guaranteed income. If it rains or the weather cooperates, then we make a crop. If it doesn't like this year, we don't make a crop. You know, it's just not a guarantee. Most of the dry land acres in Lamb County failed, and some of the irrigated ones did too. Not too far away, though, some of Alton Sinatch's cotton made it. But a flood of downpours at harvest time put him behind. The rain was too late to help the crop. It only kept farmers out of their fields. But so far, Alton's cotton has fared pretty well. Acres are down and yields are down, but farmers always seem to find the silver lining. Did have enough irrigation to make some cotton, and what we've stripped so far and got gin is yielding very well and has a good quality this year. Some of the hotter, drier years, what they lack in quality will make up for in quality. Alton farms with his dad and two younger brothers. With the way the season started, every bale is a blessing. He never wanted to do anything but farm. Growing up in the fields of West Texas, he learned the value of optimism, one of a farmer's most well-worn tools. They won't act like you're at the coffee shop, but farmers are pretty optimistic. And they have to be because things aren't always looking good from the start. Sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't, but they try again next year because it's something they love doing. It's that love of the lifestyle and the hope for a better tomorrow that keeps farmers going, even when the forecast is against them.